In light of the recent police-related killings and alleged police ill-treatment in Central Province, a new generation Papua Besana movement has emerged, and they are disgusted and outraged by the acts of law enforcement officers and have called for action. Today marks the 17th day after the shooting of late Iru Billy and the 15th day for late Emmanuel Ivagai's untimely death, and we cannot simply allow these incidents to be pushed aside and forgotten, and we intend to continue to be a voice for the Papuan people. Stop police brutality. Stop deaths in custody. Stop land grabbing. Stop this biased distribution of development budget. In a news conference earlier today, the NGPB, with the support of the founder, Dame Josephine Abijah, who condemned the killings. Dame Josephine joined the conference via Zoom from her home in Alatau. And I want the Papuans, I want Papuan men, especially those who are going into parliament, to stand up for the right of the Papuan people. And that, that has been my main concern. And I want uh, a Papuan men to rise up and lead the Papuans. At the moment, I don't see anything now. And they are demanding answers to similar outstanding cases. The set incident awaiting police investigations is the one in, in Hanobara back in 2015. We have not heard anything out of that. We don't know where the case is and it's, I don't know, it's still investigated. We're not too sure about it. But those are some of the incidents happening to the people of Papua, Central, and Motukaita, but right in the middle in the midst of our village, in the middle of our villages. Joining the panel of the new generation Papua Besena was Rhoda Vera, 37-year-old married and a mother, a recent victim of police brutality. Last Saturday, um, on my way back to the village, um, the situation actually started from um, what's what was a traffic infringement caused by the suspect. In the midst of that, I, my car was shot at by a passenger in the 10-seater, and I reacted to it, but drove off. And, and the driver came, pulled me out of the car, and then started assaulting me. He hit me so bad that my face bled, my ears bled, and I, I almost I almost fainted and I, I kept asking him to stop and saying that I would call the cops but he mentioned that he was the cop and that I had nothing else to do. Rhoda has reported her case to the police and in the time this story went to air she has been summoned to an interview with the Boroko police. While the objective of the Papua Besana movement stands for a separatist movement politically, the new generation group say they stand for the people of Papua. In terms of political might or weight that they carry in parliament, is still very lopsided. If you take just for the sake of comparison between the two different colonies or two different territories, the representation from the Papuan region as compared to the representation from the New Guinea side of things in Parliament itself is hugely disproportional, very disproportional. We're resulting, we're, what we're looking at now is, is a free-for-all assault, murder, intimidation, harassment, land grabbing, you can name it. And the reason why that, that has emerged is that because there is no leadership. Kilawani, National MTV News.